With rising Delta variant numbers in the lead-up to the month of August, the government declared an island-wide quarantine curfew to contain the virus spread. During the period of one month, however, significant improvements were seen in new cases and deaths. For example, when the curfew was imposed on the 20th of August, the daily COVID-19 caseload remained above 4,000. However, as of last evening, this had dropped to 932 cases detected across the country. Further health experts are now highlighting a significant drop in oxygen requirement as a result. With Sri Lanka now seeing such gains, President Gotabe Rajapaksa has officially confirmed the lifting of the curfew at 4 a.m. on the 1st of October. However, interprovincial travel restrictions will continue further. The president informs that the quarantine curfew to be lifted and the health guidelines and other travel restrictions that will be imposed after the 1st of October will be notified by tomorrow by the health and the respective authorities. Meanwhile, the Sri Lanka Medical Association says that it shouldn't be a complete lifting of all restrictions. Accordingly, they call for restrictions to remain on weddings, parties, conferences and political gatherings in closed air-conditioned environments for a little while longer. We need to continue with the closure or the indoor dining and drinking in restaurants and bars to be disallowed and spas and saloons to remain closed for at least for another one month. However, the SLMA also says that the signs are positive for the reopening of schools as long as it is done in adherence to health and safety protocols. It's the time for us to open schools with the adequate restrictions, at least 50% of the children to come on every other day and for the other 50% to join from home online with the class. In the meantime, the Ministry of Health announced 770 more COVID-19 recoveries during the day. This brings the total number of COVID-19 recoveries in the island to 456,857. Cut out the signal deep clean